is Bitcoin still actually bullish? There's a lot of different things to both sides here and it can be very confusing. Uh, I've been doing this six years, so I'll tell you exactly what I'm thinking in a minute. But to begin with, let's just take a look at the market and what we're seeing today. All right. So in terms of news, we're seeing Trump actually coming out and saying uh, through uh, election disclosures, right? You got to disclose this stuff if you want to be elected. Uh, you can see that he holds over one million in Ethereum. OK. And uh, yeah, also made a bunch of money in an NFT deal. Uh, so we can see, uh, yes, uh, seven million in an NFT licensing deal and between one to one. Uh, 5 million in Ethereum. That's pretty crazy. Okay, so it's obviously showing that he's pro Bitcoin. If he does get elected, then fantastic stuff. Everyone makes money. Bull market all around, right? General market, a little bit up and down here. Nothing crazy. No double digit losses on most things here. I would say all things here that are important anyway. Uh, besides that, we are seeing HTX up 9% and Aave still continuing to rise at 4% here, which is pretty decent. Aave has been doing pretty well recently. Uh, in terms of fear and greed index, we can see here uh, slapped it down to a 27 after yesterday's dump. Pretty disgusting dump yesterday, actually, guys. Uh, like really, really bad. No one really expected it to go that low uh, in, in one day. And it's really just trickling around a trend line, which I'll show you in a minute, right? Uh, but if we are looking at this, uh, we can see that the ETFs did show a positive inflows yesterday. OK, uh, we did see GBTC uh, out of 25 million, but uh, it kind of got bought back up by FBTC and BitB uh, here as well, which is fantastic. So yes, uh, they are trickling money back into the, the uh, ETF side of things. That's fantastic. If we are looking at the Bitcoin heater here. We can see that uh, it is still on the lower side here. This is typically a sign that we do a reverse towards the upside. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's not something that's conclusive. But if you do look at every time we've got below this green line, which you can think of as like a oversold zone, right? Uh, we can see that, uh, yeah, after we reclaim it, typically we begin a run towards the upside, right? So we reclaimed it, but we actually had a down day yesterday. So uh, yeah an interesting time here uh, this hasn't really happened before too much we saw this before in uh, late 2023 uh, but uh, shortly after that we just banged it right so i think this downwards trend is very likely to come to an end soon just based on stuff like this uh, and if we are looking at the electricity consumption as well we can see that that is actually uh, still on a downward slope but a little bit of a recovery we did say it's, it looks like it was rounding off here at the bottom so if this does continue to go up it's a great sign for the on-chain which typically means it's a great sign for bitcoin uh, in terms of bullishness right if we are looking at the three day here we can see uh, on the liquid heat map that uh, yeah we do have a very very busy heat map here today okay uh, and yeah I mean this could go any direction this is very much a random walk right now as we talked about so setting up grid bots layering in orders this kind of stuff uh, can be something that's useful just make sure you're taking profit on those if you do want free daily signals feel free to check this out it's completely free all right you just press follow no payment no credit card no nothing you just press follow and I will give you a free Bitcoin signal every single day if we are looking at the macro structure right now so the long term here for Bitcoin we'll get to the midterm and the short term in a minute okay but uh, yeah the long term right now we can see that generally we are still inside this kind of weird pattern right this uh this descending channel uh if we do go up to the weekly as well we can see the past two weeks have been really disgusting in terms of wicks to both sides so a very indecisive market right now if you are getting wrecked in this area do not worry okay maybe just Take your hand off the wheel for a second and don't trade and wait for a bit more direction here because this is something that is hard to trade. OK, and we can see here that, yes, we do have trend lines on the daily as well. So if we are looking at this trend line, we can see that uh, it was like this. Right. So now we're just kind of oscillating around the trend line and a lot of uh, traders will push this up here, which is still a valid thing to do. But uh, yeah, this is the initial trend line. Uh, and this is actually something that uh, that we are oscillating around. And uh, typically when we do see something like this, it can be indicative of a crashing scenario so just be aware of that but what's more important here guys is i'm gonna have to interrupt you here guys you need to sign up to prime xbt right now okay you get a hundred dollars a hundred dollars for free for free you just sign up you deposit okay you trade a little bit you get a hundred dollars easy it's in the description
something more like this, right? If we do break this high at 63K, then uh, there will be a pretty decent trade up to the top side of this range. Uh, okay, you don't have to take it all the way there. You can take it to our breakdown point here at about 65. So about 63 to 65K, there is a beautiful little trade there if we can bang it up. But again, the market is very, very random and volatile right now. So uh, just be very careful out there when you are trading, okay? Uh, if you do just want to wait for direction, that's absolutely fine. Uh, that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. I am just waiting to see whether we want to come down lower so I can add to my DCA position, or if we can start an uptrend, uh, break some key resistances, confirm some stuff, and then get in a very nice uh, swing trade position from that point, right? If we are looking at the general four hour here, starting with the volume weighted ATR bands, this plots range based on volume, okay? Uh, we can see that, yeah, we have been bouncing off this 15 minute quite a lot here okay so definitely something to watch here for the future i mean look, pretty much every time in this area we have bounced on this 15 minute so uh yeah just be aware of that uh next up is the 60 minute so uh yeah if we do want to hit this 60 minute then uh, there is potential that we bounce on that as well uh, but if we do lose it it will be after we reclaim both the 60 minute and the 15 minute at the same time that we will be targeting along there okay uh, besides that yes steady uptrend here today after yesterday's dump uh, we do have the 15 minute which is at 60k towards the up side here uh, which will be a key area to get over as well if you are looking for a quicker trade here then uh, getting over both of those and uh, taking one percent up to this next level does make a bit of sense here okay if we go down to uh the one hour here guys we can see that uh yeah it's a bit of a mess but uh, a lot of these trades did come through as you can see here very very volatile and aggressive though uh, so if you did miss these don't don't feel bad okay it's 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 a tricky market right now to say the least all right and let's just get rid of this and neaten some of this up here so if we are looking here on the one hour we can see a beautiful little channel forming but towards the lower side uh, we did actually break down from that bad boy uh, and trap towards the lower side so again uh, not not too much happening in terms of uh, us having reliable structure here to trade it is very much a random walk a market maker grab here uh, from the volatility from the etfs just grabbing all the liquidity uh, liquidity up right uh, this is more reminiscent of uh, back when i was trading in 2018 2019 right uh, this is a lot more volatile on a day-to-day -day scale okay we are putting percentages on some of these moves it's pretty crazy okay five percent in one day we haven't had that for a while okay so uh yeah just keep an eye on this stuff but uh generally if we are looking for potential moves here uh, i would probably do something a little bit more like this okay because uh, this is more the length of the waves towards the upside uh, and then if we do uh, have a look at this uh, in terms of the last wave and then we place that above we could probably target some kind of long here uh, around like 59 up to 60k but super risky on this one hour i do just want to stress that and uh yeah super risky trading this market right now just generally okay so this could be uh, this could be happening for the next month or two here so just be aware of that uh, again the best strategy right here right now for bitcoin is to guys i'm going to talk to you here right now this is not sponsorship okay this is not sponsorship but have you heard of nord vpn i'm just kidding i'm just kidding this is just a reminder if you want to like the video leave a comment you can all right you could subscribe as well that'd be great um but yeah, back to the analysis to set up a grid bot. Okay, so a grid bot is essentially where you take a range. So you take the top side here and the bottom side here where you think Bitcoin is going to range. And then you set up a grid bot to layer in orders like so. Okay, and then as Bitcoin just randomly walks in between those areas, you are just filling those orders and replenishing those orders uh, and then uh, continuing to make money from the volatility, right? Uh, without really needing to look at the chart too much. If we get below a certain level, you close the grid bot. If we get above a certain level, you close the grid bar okay very very simple easiest strategy in this in this current market right now i would say okay if we are looking at volume here on the one hour uh, yes just just as bad here uh, in terms of volatility and in volume no real uh, continuational volume here in terms of trends lots of these uh, volume waves like to last a long time this is just disgusting okay so again guys uh, just be very careful in this market right now because it's it's really trappy it's really really trappy i haven't seen it this trappy in years okay years so that's pretty crazy uh, what we will say here in terms of the bull market barrier, which we haven't brought up in a while, we are currently below that right now. OK, and when we are below that, it is reminiscent of us going into a bear market reminiscent. It's indicative of us going into a bear market. So uh, just be a, just be aware of that. But um, if we can reclaim it, it is a sign that potentially we do go up. But uh, just typically looking at the data previously, uh, when we do lose it initially, bar like when Bitcoin was $90. OK, <laughs> but when we do lose it, uh, yes, typically it does. 
uh, form a bit more of a longer term bear market. As you guys know, uh, the maximum lows that we're talking about yesterday was around 44K. I don't expect us to go below there. If there is a Black Swan event, then the maximum low is 30K. And I definitely, like 100%, we don't go below there. All right. Uh, obviously, not 100%, but probably 95 to 100%, I would say, that we don't go below 30K uh, pretty much ever again. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Besides that, yes, looking for big buys around 50K, sub 50K, this kind of area. Uh, I will also be watching this intently uh, because yes, we have been rejected essentially off this bull market barrier as well. So uh, we'll be watching to see if we can reclaim it. But uh, typically if we if we do reclaim it, something like this, right? Uh, <coughs> if we don't break 70K and then we lose it again, that's essentially the sign that we'd need for a bear market to start, okay? So just be aware of that. But when I say bear market, I am really just talking about being under the daily 50 uh, EMA, right? Which we are currently right now. So uh, yes, what we should be looking at here is uh, a small bear market uh, between kind of 44 and 60K uh, for the for, for, for the rest of the year, I would say. And then potentially a run towards the end of the year, uh, bringing us up to 100, 200K from that point. But one thing we are seeing here is banks, institutions, Everyone is buying Bitcoin right now, everyone, except retail, okay? And that's one thing that with, from my perspective, uh, when retail aren't really aware of Bitcoin and it is at a price like this, uh, it only goes to show that the media aren't really covering it and pushing it to the retail. So um, yes, it's really, when retail start to get involved, that's when we're parabolic anyway. That's when we're kind of halfway through the parabolic run, so probably near 100K, okay? Uh, and then once they start pushing it to retail, they start selling into that, right? Uh, so as of right now, retail aren't involved. They're not involved. It's only me and you involved right now, <laughs> right? Uh, besides that, it is just, uh, it is the institutions. It is the banks loading up. It is volatile uh, throughout the general retail markets, but the banks don't really care about that. They're just buying it every single day, okay? Uh, while the market makers kind of push it down. All right, so uh, that's gonna be it from me for this video. Uh, I will see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day and uh, be sure to check out my Telegram where I do post that free daily signal also on Patreon as well, right? Uh, but that free daily signal for you guys uh, and I'll see you very, very soon. Cheers.